Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Hitman Paris video sponsored by RageWorks.net. In this professional difficulty walkthrough, we have the Drowned Rat and a Permanent Break Assassinations. This is a silent assassin run. Welcome to Paris 47. Now, my loadout for this, aside from, you know, the Requiem suit and the um, Silver Baller, the, um, the one that comes with the Requiem suit, I once again took the Emetic Poison Vial and the Modern Emetic Syringe, but this time, because we don't have to blow anything up, I took the the um, Concealed Baton, the Concealable Baton, which I get right here. So I'm not speeding this up even though I've done this a couple of times before because it's a little bit different this time. And I do want you guys to see, you know, just examples if you've been watching the other videos of just places where you got to be able to actively adjust because things are slightly different. Like right here, sometimes that that guy will hear you and you just got to adjust a little bit. And right here, depending on how quickly you aim. Picking up the pipe does slow you down, but it's, it's necessary because with my loadout, I don't have any coins. I don't have any distractions right now. Now you see, I stop right here because the chef is looking to the left. If I had kept going, I would have been spotted. And this is a silent assassin run. Obviously got to wait for the guard and the model to go by. The guard more so than the model. And this run is going to show that with the professional difficulty that hiding bodies takes... You know, I mean, it's pretty obvious. I mean, it always has really. But hiding bodies will take precedence over everything else. Sometimes you can at least temporarily leave an item on the floor right in the path of a, a, an enforcer. And sometimes you'll actually have to. So this is the first thing that's a little bit different from what I've done previously. I'm still knocking this, out this this um palace staff, but I need some extra room here. That's it. Because we are hiding Novikov's body this time. So this guy's not going in this closet. He's going in the next one. And you, you have to do this guy versus the bodyguard or Novikov because if you tried to hide one of the other people there, the the fashion show's in full swing and somebody's gonna see you walking out that off that catwalk. Right now it just started, so it doesn't matter. We're just waiting for the um, female palace staff to move over to her other food prep station so we can poison the sushi. And, you know, props to anybody who does it without, but especially in professional difficulty, I think the minimap is really essential. So because I did the extra step of, of dragging the, the first palace staff guy, that kind of kill the time I had to wait for Novikov and his bodyguard. They're already heading in. And I don't know with the they they don't give all of the challenges that you normally have. It's only about 20 of them. But with the ones they chose for professional, it seems like the way they set everybody up, you kind of have to rely on this this um, Novikov's bodyguard as a disguise that you use over and over. At least I have had to. As always, be careful with getting him. Make sure you see subdue when you hit that square button or you go into combat. 
Now this is another place where things get a little bit different. We're gonna run out and get the screwdriver because we got plenty of time before Novikov gets back over there. And again, the, the screwdriver is for when you get upstairs because for some reason, and I've, I've used both, the guard that you need to distract, he will ignore a pipe, which, you know, I have, and the concealable baton. But then if you try to pick them up, he's all over you. At this point, Novikov still isn't there. That's why I sped things up. And you see I switched back to my Requiem suit because obviously when he does get there, you can't be in the bodyguard outfit. Otherwise, he becomes an enforcer and spots you. Now, don't come out of this closet. Just like stand in the doorway because you're holding that pipe and you can be spotted by the, the models. But as Novikov gets close, and this is another reason why you know, I kind of need the mini-map here. Just as he rounds the corner, aim for the back wall and toss the pipe. Make sure that you hide behind the clothes because then he can't see you pull out the, the syringe. They do notice the syringe on professional difficulty. Leave now. Believe me, you don't want to meet my security. Meet your security? You mean the guy that's naked in the closet behind us? I wish I could believe that that was a false alarm. I need to, uh, I need to briefly visit the men's room. I think I, uh, and I crouched down when I stuck I him I with the needle. I'm afraid because I, sometimes if you're standing up, again, it'll go into close quarters combat. I think if I were Novikov, I really would want to die at this point because I'm drowning him in the puke of both himself and his bodyguard. That's pretty damn nasty. So now we switch back to the bodyguard suit and go upstairs. And again, we're climbing on the outside because there are enforcers on the stairs. Kind of messed up here, but it still works out. I figured, let me get rid of these guards before I get the USB dongle. I love that word. So here's the guard I'm talking about, and that's why I threw the screwdriver. Okay. And it's not a big deal in this particular situation, but coming up in about a minute or so, it's going to, you know, you'll see what I mean, where it's important to hide the body before you get the items. Because sometimes when I hide that, that guy, Dahlia is like right on her way inside and this, um, you really got to move. Also, with this guy here, you got to be careful because there's another guard in the attic area that moves back and forth. And if he's walking towards the wall, he'll see you knock out that guard and you're in trouble. I sped this up because it took a while for Dahlia and her bodyguard to get in here. I was trying to get the bodyguard to come in here and knock him out, but Dahlia came in instead. And when she left, they both left the room. So I said, screw it, it's time to go get the dongle. After I drop off this gun. Dongle is one of my favorite proper nouns that sound like a nonsense word. Dongle. Boys and girls, can you say today's secret word with me? Today's secret word is dongle. So unlike the original setup, and I'm just waiting for these two to have their conversation, the USB dongle is not sitting on a table. This first guy, I'm waiting for this guy in the background to move away. He's having his drink. I want him to walk away. He's not the one I'm in. I'm worried about. It's this guy right here on my left that has the question going. mark. He is actually holding the USB dongle. So if you were looking for that, 
He's the guy who has it. Wait for him to turn oh, the power back this will on. Be fixed in no time. You can throw the whatever you're throwing the second you see him raise his left hand. Now I messed up. I was trying to pick up the dongle and it went into the animation to turn off the power again. And this is what I mean when I gotta hide the body because that guy's coming right where his body was laying. I didn't have time to get the stuff though, so I said screw it. Even if he sees it, he'll try to put the stuff away and I'll have time to knock him out. But he didn't see it. That's it. Alright, put this baby up and running in no time. We are in business. See, he walks right past a weapon, my baton, and the dongle. I pick both of those up and I make my way back to Dahlia's room and now we're going to take out the bodyguard after waiting forever for them to shut up and finish their conversation which they didn't have the first time so this is one of the best places to get them if there's no guard in here I should have done that the first time. Basically, let Dahlia walk out and block him. Sorry, sir. As long as you don't keep touching him, he won't become suspicious. He'll try to walk around you. He'll walk back a little bit first. That's when you take him out. Now, you got to take him out because obviously as her, you know, bodyguard slash personal attendant, he follows her pretty much everywhere except the bathroom. And to make a permanent break happen, you have to come in here and put the USB dongle in the, the laptop, which messes up the, the auction computer. Watch out for Haley here because she is an enforcer. Oddly, her boyfriend, Jared, the security guard, is not. Now, once you've done that, you have to wait for Haley and Jared to have their conversation about him knowing she's a mole. But, you know, since he has the hots where he's going to get her out of there. And that's what I'm fast forwarding through. <sighs> gone. Of course. Probably that brings Dahlia in, in who is none the wiser as if you're Haley, wearing the bodyguard God, disguise. Anything to do with this. Just stand behind her. Wait for her to start messing with the computer. And pretty much any time at this point, you can choke her out. Don't press the button too fast because you want to snap her neck. Tap it a couple of times. And when you get the triangle, snap her neck. That's what gets you a permanent break. Both targets are down. Great work. When this Nothing finishes, you're not going to see the pop up for a drowned rat because I got it earlier. I tried to do a permanent break in a different run and it's like I did everything right, but it didn't pop up. So make sure you're snapping her neck as she's at the computer, because that other time I pretty much did it after she finished. Like I waited for Haley and Jared to leave and Dahlia did her thing with the computer, but I waited till after she finished. Do it while she's on the computer, otherwise it might not pop. And you can see how long I've been doing this. The Even though the video is only about 60 minutes, the run is close to 25. So you don't want to have to do that what over. The, what the hell is that man doing up there? And now it's all about suit retrieval Hi. and escape. Now, even though... You have seen people say, like, what the hell am I doing? Nobody who's an enforcer has been able to see me. So this is still Silent Assassin. And this completes first on Victor Novikov, the assassination, a drowned rat, which is, you know, drowning him in the toilet and a permanent break, which basically you have to get the USB dongle you have to, and you have to snap Dahlia Margolis's neck while she's on the computer trying to fix the auction. So it, you have to do it while she's doing that. And 
that's pretty much it guys I'm just waiting for the the um the cook here that you see just in the crack of the door I'm waiting for him to turn around Make sure that other guy on the right is good, and we run. Crouch run. If you run, you'll get spotted. <laughs> and just wait for this guy, who's the same guy we waited for before, to turn around. good to go I do have the speedboat key on me but as you'll see in the next video it's very very difficult to get to the speedboat if you're wearing your your um, actual suit so for someone like myself who does suit retrieval that's gonna be really difficult to get out that way If you're following in order the way I've done these, you should be at level 7 at this point. And we will get to 10 and finish all the other challenges. See you in the next video.